In this video, we're going to be looking at various types of data transmission, including serial and parallel, and then simplex, half duplex, and full duplex transmission. So I'm going to start off by talking about serial transmission, this one here. He considers a single wire, a single connector um, from the sender to the receiver. Um, basically, serial transmission, it's quite slow, but it involves transmitting data one bit at a time in a single stream. Now, many people often use this method of transmission for long-distance transmission. Now, the other type of transmission is what's known as parallel. Now, parallel can send several bits of data down several wires, multiple wires, as you can see here, um, in parallel at the same time. One wire per bit is used. Um, this is great for short distances, especially inside computers. If, or if it was used over long distances, the data might become skewed, and that's something we talked about previously where all the data doesn't arrive at the same time to the receiver. So that's serial and parallel, but we've got three more terms to look at. First of all, if I go down here and look at simplex, simplex is basically communication, or data being sent only in one direction. In, in terms, in the example, I've, you can see here that a man with a semaphore is speaking, um, but he's not receiving any information back. So in simplex mode, the data transmits in one direction only, from one system to another. The sending device that sends data can only send the data and cannot receive it. But on the other hand, the receiver, the receiving device rather, can only receive the data and cannot send it. Okay, so that's simplex. Now we move on to half duplex. Now half duplex is, um, is sort of the in-between. Basically, data can move in both directions, but one has to wait for the other. So it sends it this way first, but then it, uh, it has to wait before for this to stop before data can be sent back. And then finally, this one, we have full duplex, plus using your mobile phones. Um, Two-way communication, um, it's simultaneous. Data can be sent in both directions at the same time. An advantage might be um, there's no delays in communication, as both can send and receive data simultaneously. So to answer the questions, serial half duplex would basically mean serial, being this one, and half duplex would mean one single wire, using one single bus going in one direction, and half duplex would basically mean it could travel in both directions, but not at the same time. For the second one, parallel full duplex transmission, well, we're using multiple wires, because it's parallel, and we're using full, full duplex. So basically, we're using multiple wires in both directions, and the data can flow in both directions at the same time. And finally, serial simplex data transmission. Well, serial, and simplex, we've got one wire, um, one bus, and one direction for the communication. So the sender can only send information to the receiver using this single wire. Great, as we said before, for um, long distances. Okay, so that is question one complete. And now we move on to question two. So for the first one, data is sent one bit at a time in one direction. Well, that must be serial, so number one, serial and it's using in one direction only, so it must be down here, simplex. So serial and simplex. Question two, data is sent eight bits at a time, but again, only in one direction. So question two, we must be using parallel this time, parallel, and again, as before, simplex. And question three, data is being sent 16 bits at a time in both directions simultaneously, meaning both at the same time. So question three, nice and easy, um, we're going to use parallel again, and this time we're using full duplex. Um, data sent one bit at a time in both directions simultaneously. Now number four must be serial, and again we're using full duplex. And finally, question five, we're running out of space a little bit here. Question five, data is sent 16 bits at a time in one direction only. Again, parallel, but this time we are doing simplex. And that is it. Hopefully you can read that, and there we go. Okay, so number one, serial simplex. Number two, parallel simplex. Number three, parallel full duplex. Number four, serial full duplex. And number five, parallel simplex. That is it for this lesson. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you have, please subscribe, and please hit the notifications, and I will let you know when the next video is out. Thank you very much indeed.